Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Welcome to this hip-centered flow with me, Lauren. I hope you're having a wonderful day wherever you are. And welcome to your mat, welcome to practice. We'll take a moment to center together, so go ahead and find your comfortable seat. Close down through your eyes and give yourself a moment to drop in. And start to feel your breath, deepening every inhale, lengthening, smoothing out each exhale, allowing your breath to guide you into your body, your body here in the present moment, letting go of any distractions of the mind, and taking this time to fully, deeply connect and to heal. Start to ride the waves of your breath in and out. And bring the palms together, thumbs over the heart. Bow the chin toward the chest. Take a moment to set any intention that you'd like here for practice today. What do you need? How do you feel? And with that intention set in the mind's eye, on an inhale, sweep the arms all the way up toward the sky. You can look up. Exhale, draw the hands back down to heart center. From here, hands coming to the front of the knees. You can switch the cross of the ankles if you'd like. We'll start to take some barrel rolls, some circles through the upper body. So rolling from the tailbone up the spine, moving through the midsection into the shoulders, bending the elbows, finding some dynamic movement to the head, stirring that energy that may be a bit stagnant there at the base of the pelvis. Let yourself come through center nice and slowly, and when you're ready, we'll switch to the other direction. Again, just stirring up that creative energy, that Shakti feminine energy that lives at the base of the pelvis, allowing the energy to move up the spine, awakening, energizing, connecting right here to your own intuitive nature, your deep breath, your beautiful body. Good. Let that come back up to center, and then let the left ear drop toward the left shoulder, a little stretch into the neck. Exhale, chin to chest. Right ear over toward the right shoulder, inhale. Exhale, chin to chest. As you breathe in, draw the chest and heart forward. You can look up. Exhale, round the spine back, hang on the knees. Inhale, open to the front. Exhale, rounding into the back. And then nice neutral spine, we'll take a moment to transition into our tabletop, coming onto all fours, aligning hands under shoulders, knees under hips. Keep the left palm down, inhale, right arm rises, circle the right wrist in one direction, and then in the other. Inhale, reach up a little higher, and as if you're threading the needle, sweep that right arm underneath you. Inhale to reach it back up. Exhale, twist, but don't land, reach through those right fingers, inhaling up. One more time, exhale, give it that reach, that little twist. Inhale, open up. Exhale, land the right hand down. Switch it to the other side. Inhale, left arm lifts. Circle the left wrist. Other direction. Inhale, reach up. Good, exhale as if you're going to thread it through. Reach under and through. And then inhale, come on back up. Warming the body, exhale, little twist, engage the core. Inhale, rise up. Last round, exhale, reach it out. Good, inhale, rising up. And exhale, landing the left hand down. From here, keep the hips over the knees. Start to sink down through the heart, releasing the forearms, the elbows, and either the chin or the forehead to the ground, coming into your anahatasana, opening the space of the heart, the shoulders, the throat. Deep breath. And then when you're ready, slowly we'll transition forward into Sphinx, coming onto the front of the thighs, the hips, the belly. Elbows are down. You can turn the palms up, open it up. And then glue the palms down. Inhale, lift the heart. Okay. And we'll find a little movement within our Sphinx. When you're ready, start to bend into your right knee and look over the right shoulder. Release the right foot. Bend the left knee, look over the left shoulder. A few times each side, and just again warming creating some awareness, connection to movement in the body. And one more time, each side, bend that right knee, look over the right shoulder. Left knee, left shoulder. 
Inhale to center and we'll take a little deeper. Left forearm comes down, right hand finds the right foot and gently draw that right heel toward the hip. Always breathing, of course. Releasing when you're ready and switch it to the other side. Right forearm down, left hand to left foot. Draw the heel down toward the hips. Keep the chest and heart open and find that space created the front of that left thigh, front of the hip. Nice. And then releasing slowly, left foot down, sphinx on an inhale, open up. Exhale, lower the nose, hands under shoulders, tuck the toes. Inhale, lift to plank. And take a moment just to kind of shift it around, feel that stability of the core. Maybe the weight shifts forward to the toes, back to the heels. And then when you're ready, exhale, lift the hips, lengthen back, downward facing. Not staying though, take a round, inhale, roll back forward into your plank. Exhale from the hips, bend the knees, lift and lengthen, downward facing. Inhale, plank asana. Exhale, adho mukha svanasana. One more like that, inhale, rolling forward. This time as you exhale, take the right foot up and back, three-legged dog. And then stack it open, bend that right knee heel toward the bum. Feel the space created. On your next inhale, extend the right leg back. Exhale, bend the knee in toward the chest and step the right foot up between the hands. Tent the fingers and take a moment in this lunge, creating some space in the front of the left hip. And an all intuitive organic movement is welcome. Just checking in with your own body here. Good. And when you're ready, we'll straighten out through that right leg, long pyramid. Drop the nose down toward the knee. And then inhale, we'll come back into that lunge, sink the hips, lift and open across the heart. You can look up. Exhale, lengthen the right leg, pull the hips back, maybe coming onto that right heel. Inhale, forward into your lunge. And exhale, back into that long pyramid. Maybe taking a little longer through the torso. Exhale, settle down into that front knee. Come onto the bottom of the right foot. Keep the left hand down. Inhale, take the right arm up. So twisting within your lunge, taking a moment to find that strength into your legs, engaging through the space of your core. Nice deep breath in. Exhale, right hand down. And we'll settle that right heel back onto the earth and roll to the outer edges of both feet. Right knee flares open. You can use the right hand on the inner thigh. Sink that left outer edge of the leg toward the earth. And then inhale, lift the hips, reach that Right arm all the way up and overhead. Exhale, hips to the earth, right hand toward the left leg. Inhale, rise up. And exhale, sink down. One more time, inhale, feel that lift. Then as you exhale, take the first two fingers of the right hand around the right big toe. Lift the right foot from the ground, and then step it back to meet the left. Stacking the leg, stacking the hips, Vashi Stas in the side plank. Nice, full, deep breath in. Then exhale, slowly come back into your plank. And from your plank, we'll find a little more movement and stability into the wrist. Just kind of circling the torso around, keeping yourself nice and steady, nice and stable through the upper body. Take it in both directions. And then inhale, tip forward and exhale, lower down through Chaturanga. Inhale, find upward facing dog or cobra, maybe an extra breath there to really open it up. And as you exhale, pull the hips high length and back downward facing dog. And then again, inhale, we'll roll forward plank asana. Exhale from the hips, press into the palms, lift the hips high downward facing. Inhale, plank. Exhale, hips high down dog. One more round. Inhale, rolling forward into your plank. Exhale as we lift the left leg high, three legged dog. Go ahead and stack it open, bend the knee, create a little extra space. And then on your next inhale, we'll lift and extend the left leg straight back behind. Exhale, bend the knee, step the foot between the hands. Tent up onto the fingertips. We'll take a few breaths to open up through the front of the right hip and feeling into this other side of the body. Welcoming any and all learned or intuitive movement. Check in, how are you? Deep breath in. And out. Slowly extend out through that left leg. Long pyramid, drop the nose toward the knee. And inhale, shift forward back into that lunge. Open the chest, the heart. Exhale, pull back, stretch out through the legs, the spine, the hips. Again, inhale, bend that left knee, shift forward, open up. Exhale, lengthening back, stretching out. 
and inhale, come forward back into your lunge and then come high into the bottom end of the left foot. Right hand stays down, inhale, that left arm lifts, give yourself that strong and steady twist, really engaging through the inner thighs, the core. Inhale to reach up, exhale, left hand comes down. We'll settle the left heel down for a moment and then roll to the outer edges of both feet. Left knee opens out to that left side. Left arm can help it to open. Sink the outer edge of the right hip toward the floor first and then take that left hand overhead, hips high. Exhale, sink it back down toward the earth. Inhale, reach up. Good, exhale, left fingers toward that right leg. Inhale, sweep it overhead nice and open. And then exhale as you sink the hips back down, left fingers around that left big toe. Lift the left foot from the floor, engage, step it back, find your side plank, other side. Take a moment to get that lift and openness up toward the ceiling, inhale, exhale, slow lower back into your plank. Stabilize first and then we'll take a moment again to loosen and strengthen the wrists, bringing some big circles, one direction and the other. Good. Inhale, tip forward. Exhale, lower down through Chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing dog. Tuck the toes, lift the hips, lengthen back, downward facing dog. Good. Taking a moment to get that nice long line of energy from the fingertips to the tail. Inhale, look up toward the hands. And as you exhale, we'll bend to the knees and step or hop the feet all the way up to meet the hands. Inhale, lift halfway. Exhale, fold. Maybe a little movement into the knees. Checking out the hamstrings, the space of the hips. Again, releasing down, exhale. Ground into the feet, inhale, roll the spine nice and slowly, come all the way up to standing. Shrug the shoulders to the ears and exhale, slip them down the back. And then roll it out one side and then the other. Loosening up the joints of the shoulders, maybe bringing the movement into the hips, into the knees and into the feet. Good. And then from here, inhale again, both shoulders shrug up. Exhale, relax it down the back, hands to heart center. Ground the feet and on an inhale, sweep the arms down, out and all the way up toward the sky. Exhale, hinge from the hips, fold yourself all the way down over the legs. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, deep in your fold, maybe hands behind the ankles or the calves. Tipping the weight forward slightly, belly toward the thighs, head heavy. Good. Inhale, we'll lengthen it out. Fingertips come forward. Lift the left foot. Extend it straight back or up toward the sky, working your standing split. And then bend the right knee so you can gracefully land on the ball mount of the left foot toward the back of the mat. Lift onto the ball mount of the right and rise up through the torso. Yep, that's a little wobbly. Finding that crescent lunge with the right heel lifted. You can come down for these next few movements if it's too much in the body. Keep it lifted for a little challenge. Inhale, rise up, finding that lift, right heel lands. Exhale, tip forward just halfway, push through that back left heel, reach forward through the fingertips. Stabilizing, strengthening, inhale, rise up. Now come onto the ball of the left foot, ball of the right foot, bend the right knee, sink the hips back into that crescent. One more, inhale, lift up, heels land, tip at the hips, lengthen forward, slow, 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 until the hands come all the way down to the ground. Good. Once the palms land, really engage through the core, suck up through that right hip, and lift the right leg up and back behind you, three-legged dog. Good. And take a moment, really stretch it out, find your lift, find your space. And we'll bend into the right knee and step that right foot again all the way up between the hands. Left heel turns in and down, rise up through the torso, lifting everything you've got toward the sky. And then exhale, find your warrior two. Hands out through the height of the shoulders. Maybe again, coming up onto the ball mount of that front right foot. Right elbow meets the right knee or thigh. Left arm reaches long, finding an extended side angle, grounding the outer edge of that left foot, reaching through the left fingers. Really strong and steady, strengthening here through the legs. And then set that right heel down if it's lifted. Maybe take the right hand down inside the right foot, getting a little deeper, hips and heart open. Half bind, that left arm behind the back. Full bind, right arm underneath the right thigh. You can just stay here. If you like, gaze comes down to the ground. As gracefully as you can, step the left foot up to meet the right, getting ready for your bird of paradise. Come on to the right toes, left foot's the standing leg. As you start to rise up. Slow and steady, use those strong intrinsic muscles of the body. And then maybe working an extension through that right leg. Good, breath first. And when you're ready to release, right knee bends. Bend the left knee slowly. Resist that pull of gravity. 
Once the right foot finds the ground, we start to extend out through both legs, give a little twist open, and release the hands down onto the ground. Let that right hand come out in front of the right foot. You can keep that half bind of the left arm if you'd like. Lift the left foot again, and then the left hand finds that left foot or ankle, and come into a variation of our half moon. And that nice open space for the hips. Extend it out, full outer Chandrasana. Bend the right knee, land the left foot toward the back of the mat. Come on up, straighten both legs. And then reverse it into your stargazer. Coming onto the right heel, right fingers reach long and overhead. Stretch out that right side body. Inhale, come on up. Exhale, Trikonasana. Tip forward through that right side. Lengthen out both sides of the rib cage. Left hand to the sky. You can look up. Legs are active, heart is open. Deep, full breath in. And as you exhale, gaze down, bend through that right knee. Plant the palms, roll onto the bottom of the left. Steady the hips, and then roll again to the outer edges of both feet. The right fingers hold on to that right big toe, and we'll take that right leg to the sky. If you can, just working a variation of our side plank, and then landing the right foot down onto the left. Slow and steady, back into your plank. Good. Find that center. Maybe a little tip forward and back. Take a moment to engage, to hold, to stabilize through the whole central channel of the body. Find your stability. Find your strength. Good. And then on an exhale, we'll lift the hips high, lengthen back, downward facing dog. And working that long line, tips of fingers to the tailbone. Then go ahead and set the knees down. Give yourself a moment of rest in your child's pose. Hips toward the heels. Soften the abdomen. Soften the forehead and the elbows down toward the floor. Relax your fingers and your toes. Deep, full breath. Just checking out the variation side to side. When you're ready, we tuck the toes back under, but keep the knees low. Lift them off the ground, and then slowly lift the hips back into your down dog. Then we can take a few hops here, just working a space toward our handstand, and a slow and steady, strong jump up toward the top of the mat. So next time you hop, let the feet come up between the hands. Inhale halfway, exhale fold. Bend those knees, wiggle it out. Inhale, rise up, finding that standing mountain, hands to heart center, exhale. Inhale, sweep the arms down, out all the way up to the sky. Exhale, hinge and fold nice and slow over the legs. Inhale, halfway. Exhale, deeper into your fold, hips high, head low. Nice. And then releasing the hands forward just a bit in front of the toes. Setting to the left foot, bend the right knee, lift the right foot, either straight back or up toward the sky, working that standing split. Bend the left knee so you can land on the ball mount of the right foot toward the back of the mat. Lift the left heel, inhale, rise up into that little wobbly crescent here. Again, just working a little deeper space of strength for the legs, the hips. Inhale, lift and lengthen both heels, land, come forward just halfway, push through the right heel, reach through the fingers, stretch it out. With strength, inhale, we rise up, re-bend into that front knee, come onto the ball mound of the left foot, settle in, and we'll take that one more time, inhale, lift, exhale, that back heel lands, reach forward, lengthen, 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 and eventually, slowly, the hands will come all the way back down to the ground, let it fold in for a moment, and then with the palms planted down onto the earth, you can slowly take that left leg, extend it up and back, three-legged dog. Kind of really stretch it out here for a moment, get as much extension through the legs as you can, and then re-bend the left knee, step the left foot all the way up between the hands. Right heel comes in and down, inhale, rise up, lifting everything you have toward the ceiling. Exhale, bending deeply, left knee, hands out through the height of the shoulders. You can come onto that left ball mound, lift the heel, a little extra challenge for the legs. And then when you're ready, left elbow comes to that left knee or thigh. Right arm extends up and overhead, outer edge of foot through the fingers. Get that extension first. Keep the openness here. That's our primary focus, opening hips and heart. Maybe left heel drops down, left hand comes inside the foot. Half bind the right arm. Full bind, left arm underneath the left leg. You can stay here, keep it open. Or look down and gracefully, of course, step that right foot all the way up to meet the left. Right foot becomes the standing leg. Come onto the left toes and rise up again. It's slow and steady. There's no rush to get there. Appreciate the journey, the strength you create as you start to move into these shapes. Maybe extending out through that left leg. Find your focus, find your center. 
Good, riding the waves of your breath. And if you wiggle, you wobble, you fall down, it's okay. Give yourself some compassion. Releasing slowly that left foot back down onto the earth. Good, straighten out through the legs. Give yourself a little twist over to the right side. And releasing that left hand down out in front of those left toes. You can keep the half bind of the right arm if that feels okay. Left foot plants, right leg lifts. And that right hand finds that right foot or ankle. Give yourself this variation of our Ardha Chandrasana. Full extension when you're ready. Right leg, right hand up. And then bend the left knee, come back into the outer edge of that back foot. Lift the torso, sweep it back into that stargazer. Come onto the left heel, reach out through those left fingers, open everything up toward the sky. Nice. And then the left foot plants, sweep the torso up through center. Tip over that left leg. Both sides of the spine nice and long, so we're not falling down into that left side. We're keeping everything nice and open. Feet are rooted, legs are active. Maybe the toes lift just to check the strength of the legs. When you're ready, exhale, look down, rebend the left knee, roll onto the bottom of the right, get stable and steady. Right hand plants, left fingers hold the left big toe, extend it out, and then maybe lift that left leg overhead, that variation of our side plank, and then releasing slowly the left foot down on top of the right. Inhale to get some strength, exhale to land back into your plank, steady it off. Nice. Inhale, tip forward. Exhale, lower just quarter. And then lower halfway. Bring it back up. And this time down into that chaturanga nice and slow, slow, slow. Work the strength of the arms. Good. Inhale, lift and open, finding that upward facing dog. Smile. Exhale, tuck the toes, lift the hips, lengthen back. Downward facing dog. Nice. Heavy down through the head. Long spine. Wiggle it out if you need to. Your practice, your body. And then when you're ready, come forward through the knees, down onto the earth, back into your child's pose. You can keep the elbows down, bring the palms together, thumbs to the back of the neck. A little stretch into those triceps. Take a moment to soften, to reground. And then we'll release the hands forward again. And then roll yourself up into your seat just for a moment, sitting onto your heels. Maybe releasing through the shoulders, the head. And then crossing at the ankles or shifting the feet to one side. Extend the legs out in front of you. A little push through the heels, draw the toes in. Inhale, sweep the arms up nice and long, lift up. And as you exhale, hinge and fold into your Paschimottanasana. And inhale gets you linked through the front of your spine. And every exhale, an opportunity to release, to let go, to get a little deeper. Take a few moments here, shoulders away from the ears. Head heavy, feel free to bend your knees as much as you need to. And then inhale, come on up. Keep the legs extended out, I'm just turning so that you can see me. <laughs> go ahead and take your left foot to the inside of that right thigh. And then go ahead and sandwich onto that right foot with the hands. And then maybe work extending out through that right leg. Coming into a nice lifted heron gaze toward the toes okay and then maybe bending into that extended leg and holding on to it just like you would a baby and just giving it a little rock from side to side releasing and lubricating the space of the hips good now from here we'll take it a little farther if you're working your compass go ahead and take that leg bring it up behind the shoulder plant the palm to the ground and start to extend it out good that right toes reaching up toward the sky, torso opening over toward that left side. You can stay there. You might want to work a little arm balance. Find the weight into the sits bones, plant both palms, cross at the ankles, and maybe the hips lift off the ground. If they do, bend into the elbows, tip the weight forward, and extend the legs over to that right side. And then settle your sits bones onto the ground, slow and steady, of course. Release the arms, keep the cross of the ankles, take a moment to wiggle it out, find your center. Deep breath. Inhale, sweep the arms all the way up. As you exhale, twist over to that left side. So right hand to left knee. Inhale, heart rises. Exhale, just gentle into your twist. Finding breath and then reaching that right arm up toward the sky. That's your left arm, sorry. I'm getting a little more space. Left hip to hand. And then we'll cross the arms in front, hands to opposite knees. Use your exhale to fold and bow down over the legs. Releasing the weight of the head. 
And then inhale, torso comes up. Keep the cross of the elbows back so the hands are wrapping at the palms, eagle arms. Inhale, fingers reach up, look up. Exhale, elbows toward the navel, bow down. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, curl in. One more, inhale up. Exhale, curl in. And then unravel, inhale, open it up. Beautiful, exhale, releasing back to center. And we'll take it to the other side other side yep there we go so taking the right heel in left leg extends out left foot holds on or excuse me left fingers hold on to that left foot and then reaching up into that heron you can gaze toward the toes if the elbows do bend see they bend out to the sides keep the chest and heart nice and open and take a moment just to stretch it out find that space of the core stay here you can bend into that lifted left knee kind of hold on to the leg the shin and give it a very mindful Sway from side to side, lubricating into the hip joint. Stay here. Or you can work that compass. Right hand holds onto the top of the left foot. Left knee behind that left shoulder, palm to the ground. And then work that extension up and out through that left leg, rolling open to the right. Each side's a little different. This side on me is a little more sticky, so it just takes some more time to move into the space. Be gentle with yourself, find compassion. If you're working arm balancing, right ankle crosses over the left, plant both palms into the ground, lift the hips, bend into the elbow, shift the torso forward a bit, try and keep the hips lifted as you extend out through the legs. Again, find this side, and then slowly bring it back to center. Again, once the sits bones are down, release the arms, find the cross of the legs, steady yourself off. And then inhale, sweep the arms up toward the sky. Exhale, twist, other side, left hand to right knee. Inhale, heart open. Gentle in the neck and head, just a little twist for the middle back. And we'll keep that left hand on the right knee. And then we'll reach the right arm up toward the sky and give yourself a little lean over toward that left side. Just making it feel good, stretching it out for a moment. And then look down, cross the arms in front, hands on opposite knees, inhale to lengthen, exhale to fold. And just taking a breath or so here. And then lifting the torso up, bending into the elbows, wrapping at the palms. Inhale, reach up with those eagle arms. Exhale, elbows toward the navel, head down. Inhale, up. Exhale, down. One more inhale, reach it up. Exhale, draw the elbows in. Inhale, open up beautifully across the heart, little smile. Exhale, release the hands down. Good, finding yourself there, back at center. Deep breath. Okay. And then from here, you can walk the toes up toward the top of the mat, bend into the knees, hands to the front of the shins. Inhale, draw the chest and heart forward. Exhale, round back into the spine. Inhale, shift forward, the knees can open. And then as you exhale again, rounding back. Inhale, open up toward the top of your mat. Exhale, this time we'll come all the way down, use the strength of the core or your elbows to support you as the core stays engaged, lowering the head down to the earth. Once you're there, feet walk in a little closer, but then wider on the mat, knock the knees together, give the low back a moment to release, to relax. And then once it's had that opportunity, Hug the knees in toward the chest, wrap the arms around the legs, give yourself a little rock, maybe a little circling of the knees to release the sacrum. And then we'll take the feet straight up toward the sky, hands down alongside you. And then start to crisscross the legs, one in front of the other, just kind of like those old school egg beaters. Keeping the inner thighs engaged, the toes active. And we'll just start to take it a little faster and a little faster just for a moment. Circling that energy out of the feet down into the legs. And then slow it down. Good. And from here, we'll take the legs nice and hollow, nice and heavy. Cross the left leg over the right completely at the knees. Drop the heels toward the bum. And then hands hold on to the outer edges of opposite feet. And as you drop the legs out to the side, give the outer edges of the hips a little stretch. Keep the legs as they are, or find your eagle legs where that left foot wraps around the outside of the right ankle. And then we'll find our eagle arms. And so it's the right arm that's coming over the left, wrapping at the palms. Good. And then extend it all out, toes and fingers toward the ground. And then hug the elbows and knees together. 
Inhale, open up. Exhale, hug it in. You can stay low here. Inhale. Exhale, maybe the head lifts, crunch it in. Inhale, opens you up. Exhale, crunching in. Inhale, open. Exhale, crunch it in. This time we hold in that eagle crunch, engaging through the abdomen, pressing the low back into the earth. Good. Stay for just another moment, really squeezing everything you have in toward midline. And then taking your time, releasing the head. Release the arms. Keep the cross of the legs, the eagle cross if that feels okay. You can take the right hand to the outside of the left leg. If this is too much, feel free to unravel the legs at any time. Just taking a moment to twist. Maybe that left ear falls toward the floor. Soften through the face, deepen the breath. And slowing down here toward the end of our practice. And unravel the cross of the legs if you haven't. Stack the knees. Just pause, moving slowly. Draw the knees back, up and in through center. Hands to the front of the shins. Open the knees toward the armpits. And then come into your Ananda Asana, your happy baby. Knees drifting toward the earth outside the ribs. Opening up the hips, the inner thighs. Relax your toes. And then drop the heels back toward the bum. And then lift the feet straight back up toward the sky. And we'll egg beater the legs again here before we come into it on the other side. So just kind of etch a sketch. Shake it out. Release it. Wipe it clean. Get a little faster first. And then slow it down. And then we'll cross the right leg over the left at the knees. Hold on to the outer edges of the feet. Get into the outsides of the hips for a moment here. Squeeze it in toward you. And keep the legs as they are. You can find that full wrap, letting that right ankle come behind the left. And this time, the right arm comes underneath the left eagle arms. Fingertips overhead, toes down toward the mat. Good. Inhale to extend it out. Exhale to squeeze it in. You can stay with the head down. Inhale. Or exhale, crunch it all in. Head lifts. Inhale, open up. Exhale, crunch it in. Inhale. Exhale, crunch in. This time we hold, squeeze the forearms, the inner thighs, the nose toward the hands. Low back down into the earth. And then releasing nice and slowly the head down toward the ground. Release the wrap of the arms. They come out to the sides. This time we'll take the knees into our twist over to the left side. You can take the left hand to the outside of that right knee, right ear toward the floor. As I mentioned on the other side, if the full cross of the legs is too much, feel free to unravel it at any time. Make sure it's suitable for your own body. Heavy the right arm. Deep in your breath. And staying in your twist, so start to unravel through the legs just for a moment there. And then we'll take the knees back up through center. Hands come to the front of the shins. Give yourself that little squeeze in. Good. And let the arms come down alongside you, feet up toward the sky. You can just stay right here. This could be your inversion. Or you can come into a supported shoulder stand where the elbows bend, the hands hold onto the backs of the hips. We've got that kind of 90 degree angle at the hips. Or full shoulder stand if you want to walk the hands toward the midline of the back. Starting to stack the feet over the knees, over the hips, which are over the shoulders. Make sure you can still breathe happily here. Nice compression for the front of the throat, but really be mindful of the back of the neck can stay here. You can drop those toes overhead, coming into your plow, your halasana. I like to come onto the tops of the feet. It provides a deeper stretch for the ankles, the legs. If the feet are down, the hands can release out on the mat as well. If the feet don't reach the ground, just keep the hands on the back to give yourself some extra support. Again, you're always breathing, fully connected, and then releasing as slowly and mindfully as you can, one vertebra at a time, all the way back down to the ground. Good. Once the hips land, you can extend out through the legs. Once the heels land, roll onto the top of the head. Let the spine leave the earth, rest onto your elbows, coming into your fish. Good. Opening up the whole front body, the throat, the chest. Extension for the spine. Active legs. Deep breath. 
And when you're ready, releasing the back of the head slowly down onto the mat. Getting ready for your final pose for our practice together here, your Shavasana. Letting out any last little wiggles, stretches. Let the toes fall out to the sides as you release any tension through the feet or the ankles. Relaxing your calves around your knees, fronts and backs of your thighs. Softening through the glutes and the bowl of the pelvis. Remembering for a moment that Shakti energy, that creative and feminine force that we awoke there at the base of the pelvis. And see if you can feel that space nice and open. And allow that wave of energy to roll all the way up the spine as you feel that release of the back into the ground. And openness across your heart. Relaxing through the face and feeling the energy rising all the way up and out through the crown of the head, meeting Shiva, our masculine energy, uniting the two, feeling that full, free flow of your prana, your life force moving through you. Feel your fingers relaxed, your wrists, your forearms, your elbows, and your upper arms. Feel your breath smoothing out. And letting go of any manipulation or control of this present moment and allow yourself to simply be riding the wave. Letting anything that arises to come in. And then simply letting it go. Using your breath as your tool. your teacher, giving yourself this much needed opportunity to let go. And just take a few more moments here. And I'll guide you when it's time to awaken from the Shavasana. And just for now, let yourself go. your body to remain still. Start to come back to your breathing. Allow your breath to guide you into your body. Wiggling your fingers, your toes, circling your wrists and ankles, maybe a turn of the head side to side. You can find a full body stretch, reach the arms overhead, open the mouth, stick out your tongue, stretch the jaw, release your face. Then bending into your knees, go ahead and roll over onto one side, making a pillow for your head and the crook of your arms. Settling in for just a moment longer, perhaps taking in a few words. When tough times come your way, you really only have two options. You can either fight the waves or you can ride them. You can spend all of your energy wishing things were different and wishing the situations and people would change. You can spend your precious time fighting against reality and all that is. Or you can let go and ride the waves. You can soften. 
you can accept that life brings waves, and some waves will be undoubtedly wonderful, but others will be incredibly tough. My lovely friends, I hope you learn to ride your waves. So from here, pressing into that top hand, give yourself a little support as you rise back up and into your comfortable seat. Take your time to arrive, and when you do, just take a moment to check in. How are you feeling now? How are you breathing now? I'll bring the palms together, thumbs resting over the heart, Anjali Mudra, bowing the chin toward the chest in deep gratitude. Grateful for this experience. Grateful for the ability to breathe and to ride the waves of life. Inhale, we'll take the hands up to the third eye. Lift the throat, open up. Hands to the mouth, hands to the heart. Take a bow. Om Shanti, Shanti, Shanti. Peace, peace, peace. Please know that the light in me honors and deeply respects the light in you. Namaste.